This demonstration will show you how to use the resampling applet to determine whether you have a main effect for your between subject factor. So in this case, what I have here is I have eight individuals in both the high fear and the low fear condition. I've used a median split to determine whether these subjects are either highly fearful of snakes or they have a low fear of snakes. Okay, so eight subjects per condition, and that is our between subjects factor. All right, so eight subjects for high fear, eight subjects for low fear. Now for the within subject factor, again, we have, say, a interference condition with a snake background in it. So in other words, you might have a slide that has a certain color that the subject needs to respond to, but the background has a picture of a snake on it. Likewise, in the neutral condition, they might need to respond to the color of the slide, but the background picture is of a neutral animal like a cow or a bunny or something. So what we want to do here is we want to ask, is there a difference between high fear and low fear subjects, regardless of what condition they're in? So in other words, we're going to average across both the snake background and the neutral conditions for each subject in the high fear and the low fear condition, and then compare all those reaction times against each other. All right, so you can see this column right here just takes the average across both snake background and neutral for each subject in the high fear condition. And it does that eight times, once for each subject in the high fear condition, and then eight times for each subject in the low fear condition, or level of the fear factor. Okay, so once you have those, you can pull up your resampling applet. And again, here, make sure that between subjects design is selected with this radio button. And we're going to rename these data sets right here. So this is going to be, say, the high fear group, and this column is going to be the low fear group. Now we're going to take these averages, and we're going to just copy and paste them. So this is the high fear group. Take those averages, copy, paste them. For the low fear group, copy and paste those averages. All right, so for this resampler, that's really all you need to do. Make sure that research mode is checked and then click plot your data. Okay. So in this case, this blue line represents the actual difference in the means between the high fear subjects and the low fear subjects. All right. So what we're doing is now we take thousands of resamples. We're resampling with replacement. Each subject can be sampled twice, for example, in each of these resample data sets. And then again, you calculate the mean difference between the two groups. Okay. This gray box again represents the 95% confidence interval or where 95% of our samples fell. And if this blue line falls within the gray box, you would say that there is no significant difference between reaction times for the two groups. In other words, there's no main effect for the factor of fear whether they're in high fear or low fear, it doesn't really matter for their reaction time. Okay, collapsed across the levels of both the snake stroop and the neutral stroop. So that's a very brief overview of the between subjects or sampler. Again, this is the same sampler that you would use for your within subjects main effect. In other words, if you wanted to see if there was a difference between the snake condition and the neutral condition collapse across whether you were a high fear or a low fear individual. So I hope that helps, and in the next tutorial we'll be covering the interaction resampling applet.